Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the BEA IO DT1. This is an activation and safety sensor for sliding doors. Here's the box. Now, oh, here's the business end. That's your IO, your uh, IO DT1. I've got the cover just snapped off so that I can show you the insides real quick without having to fumble with getting the cover off. This is a sensor for a sliding door that is going to combine microwave radar technology and infrared technology. Use them together to provide a more optimum sort of sensoring capability on a sliding door. The IODT1 is the model uh, upgrade, so to speak, after the Wizard, which is no longer manufactured. This is the unit that people are to go to when they need the Wizard type functionality. The unidirectional radar provides energy savings and an, with an in, uh, infrared curtain, which prevents the door from contacting pedestrians as they pass over the threshold. Uh, this is the body. Now the IO is an easy to install all-in-one sensor that maximizes safety and activation. Lots of settings. Uh, you're going to have your microwave setting, uh, microwave sensor here, your infrared down below. So the, and we're going to get to the specifics in a moment, but the microwave is going to uh, sensor the pattern in front of the door. The infrared comes down as a curtain in the plane of the door, meaning that as you approach the door, the door opens via the microwave. But when you are in the space, the infrared is picking you up. And that infrared will take over and prevent the doors from coming in and making contact with you. So it's a smart sort of sensor. Now, uh, this will also include its installation cable. Its hookup is here on the left side. It will come with a couple of screws for installing the body. Now you can see where those are going to go. The keyhole slot, your slot here. And of course, we'll come with documentation. Now, let's start at the beginning with all of this documentation and go, go over it. First of all, there is a link below this video. Actually, let's tackle the extended description down below. Lots of actual photographs of the item down below this video, some manufacturer's photographs as well. The unidirectional uh, feature of the unit, due to its unidirectionality, the duration of the door hold open time can be shorter, resulting in energy savings. This optimizes vestibule applications. This will also feature an LCD display with an intuitive configuration via that display showing text and graphics. You can also uh, program this via, via the BEA remote that's available. That's not an uncommon item to sell. Easy setup, four visible red alignment spots are projected on the ground to assist in the precise IR curtain adjustment. Infrared curtains, two curtains, a total of 48 high density infrared spots provide precise presence detection near the threshold area. 32 bit microprocessor optimizes the processing environmental information, ensuring stable performance throughout the year. Microwave, active infrared overhead mount. Now, let's get to the documentation and take a deeper look at it. First, there is a link to a, a document called Datasheet. That's important because it will give you a summary of not only the item, but of its uh, accessories. It gives you an overview of the operation that we've already covered. It will give you an idea of the uh, unidirectional sort of application of the unit. Um, so if you stare at that or you, you take note of it, you know, you're going to hit that microwave or the infrared sort of feature first and that allows the sensor to know if you are approaching or moving away from uh, the opening. Okay, Those infrared curtains of course are part and parcel of that. The LCD display is touched on there in, in uh, just summary fashion. Intuitive configuration via the LCD display showing text and graphics. We said that earlier. Uh, accessories can be seen on page two. Uh, most notably are going to be the rain guard that is there. Okay, 
the remote that is listed there, those are common. And then of course you can order this in black, white, or silver, depending on you know the scheme of what you're doing. The color of the aluminum storefront, uh, sliding doors I should say, etc. Power requirements or, or specifications are on the bottom of page two. Then you move to a user's guide, and the user's guide is one of the two document packets that are included, user's guide. And that's printed there, or pardon me, the link is there for you to review uh, before, during, after installation. And then of course a template is going to be provided as well, very simple and straightforward. Yeah, self-adhesive paper template. Absolutely. Now, the uh, link to the user's guide, it is going to give you an overall summary of the not only the installation, what the wires are working with uh, or, or correlating to, uh, to your door. Of course, you're going to plug that in to the unit with the plug. The adjustment of the sensors are there as well, and that's referring to how you are going to ultimately tip the microwave sensor up and down or as you can see, in or out, okay? You'll take note of the uh, pattern that is on the face and that you've got this other pattern that's here and you can see that in terms of how you determine the width. Uh, very important on the bottom of page two, so you will be able to change that pattern that is going to give you that very narrow sort of approach right in the front and that is kept here you're certainly going to want to keep that just want to make sure I get it put down to where it goes there we go moving on to page three is going to give you the ability to tailor the exact location uh, of your curtain, your infrared curtain, and that's done with this sort of um, adjustment here. And then, of course, you'll take note of the uh, adjustment arrows that are located there as well. Adjusting the uh, pattern of the infrared curtain uh, is done via these two switches here. It's a bit difficult to see, but currently, the, right at the tip of my finger uh, here is what would be the feature of an arrowhead. You can kind of see it there at the tip of my finger. Both of the arrowheads are pointed in the red direction and they are both there to emulate what it looks like in the standard position where you're going to get that even spread of infrared curtain uh, across the opening. You can see how you can tip it to the left or to the right or, or pinch it all in and that's manipulating these two controls here. The rest of the uh, user's guide will uh, show you how you scroll through the LCD with this scroll wheel that's here, allowing you to control all of the settings. The balance of the user's guide is going to give you not only uh, troubleshooting, but also just tips on how to uh, install, remove uh, the sensor as well, and then other just technical specifications that would be necessary to have at least publish voltage, uh, supply voltage, 12 24 volt AC, 12 to 30 volt DC. Okay, Moving on to the cut sheet, that's handy because it's just a, a catalog sheet. You might uh, send that forward to your client and say here's an overview of the product. So BE, what BEA does very well is publish all the data, but they publish it in some, uh, in, in some instances multiple times. But the fact of the matter is it's very simple and straightforward sort of documentation to review. The uh, link to the cut sheet, though, gives you some additional information uh, not previously really specified. Um, ten microwave activation sensitivity settings and three infrared uh, safety immunity settings. Ability to distinguish between approaching and departing traffic. We talked about that. Um, other specifications regarding the microwave and the infrared are there. Getting on to page two, again, you will see the specifications the uh, available options. Moving on to the technical sheet, that's more of a product specification with some dimensional properties. 
that are all there. Again, nice and easy to review. Finally, the fifth uh, item there is called the, the product catalog. Now, the product catalog is helpful because it's an overview of everything BEA related. So for sliding doors, this is going to give you the ability to uh, use smartly your door so that you are not uh, having the door open longer than necessary as a result of the combination of the microwave and infrared. It talks about the technical specifications of everything, talks about how to adjust each for your particular application, and then finally the overview product catalog of everything BEA uh, related. Get your uh, cover here and what's nice about BEA is that they make the covers available separately. This might become vandalized. Well, you can replace this. The cable you can buy separately, it might become damaged uh, for some reason. Okay, So that product catalog is very helpful. If you have more than an occasional need for uh, automatic sliding door or swinging door, transmitters, receiver type hardware, you're going to want to familiarize yourself with the BEA catalog because their name is synonymous with that hardware, and you'll, you'll likely notice that their hardware looks very similar to other people's hardware when it comes to automatic doors. What probably is happening is that other companies' hardware is per manufactured by OEM and then private, uh, li privately labeled. I like going direct to the source. In, a, in the case of BEA, uh, them being the source, they are the best, most direct connection to the hardware because of uh, the ubiquitous nature of all the product line that they do, receivers, transmitters, sensors, uh, hardware, push plates, things of that nature to operate uh, automatic doors. Uh, exceptional technical support and customer service and outrageously fast shipping lead times. Okay? If you have any questions on the IO-DT1 activation sensor for sliding doors or any other BEA product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.